Despite my years of using and preferring Linux as the OS of choice for my laptop, my misgivings about using the Mac OS desktop, and my general cheapness, I now find myself caught in a sort of technological confessional. I just purchased an M1 Mac Mini. I want to make an effort to try and explain myself, not because I feel I have to publicly do so, but I guess it's more of a out loud rationalization for me. A sort of catharsis, I suppose. Okay, as I have stated in the past, I do like and enjoy using various forms of Linux on my primary device, my AMD powered laptop. While I'm not by any stretch an advanced Linux user, I am pretty comfortable and confident using it. I like that it will work on a variety of older and newer hardware. I also enjoy the fact that there is a good amount of freely available software for the platform that is either good enough or even excellent in some cases. To be honest, my mind seems to have been wired my whole life for good enough. I have never had to have the Fender guitar, the option laden car, or the name brand clothes where the knockoff version or the base model will work just fine. Along those lines, the Mac Mini has been trumpeted as the least expensive Mac for some time. And in this case, I purchased a used one since that would save me some more money up front. I got a used base model 2020 M1 Mac Mini, supposedly in very good condition, for around $100 less than a current PlayStation 5 base model. That seemed like a good deal to my old stingy self. Not being super familiar with the Mac Mini hardware, I actually did a bit of research. I went back and forth between getting an older Intel model and the M1 Apple Silicon model. It turns out that the M1 models are rather persuasive as a price performance proposition. And I will have a little bit of future proofing built in by skipping over the Intel products. The only important downside I see is that I can't easily run a different OS on it should I find that I do in fact absolutely hate using Mac OS after a few months. So what will I do with this Mac? Great question. And honestly, I'm not sure. What? You just spent several hundred dollars with no plan? <laughs> Understandable reaction, but not really. There are, I suspect, plenty of things I could do with it, but I don't have it in my sweaty, grasping hands at the moment, so I'm not sure how it can best be utilized yet. As I get older, I feel the need to try and keep my mind learning, or at least busy. True, I do still have a full-time job in IT, but I still find myself doing things like, oh, changing Linux distros on a regular basis, or coming up with other projects so I don't fall into the habit of, you know, coming home, eating and then just vegetating for the rest of the evening. Well, that still happens sometimes, but I try to avoid it. I already have a small form factor PC, purchased use of course, that I use as a media server, but the Mac is probably overpowered for that anyway. I have a home built Ryzen powered PC that we use as our main Windows computer. We might possibly try replacing it with a Mac, although my wife might have something to say about that. She loves her iPad, but I'm not sure her goodwill would stretch that far, since she uses that PC quite a bit more than I do. My daily driver is my Linux laptop, and among other things, I create my YouTube channel content with it. I gather the Mac Mini lends itself well to that, so I may try something along those lines. We'll see. Essentially, it comes down to the fact that I was looking to broaden my computing horizons again, and frankly, this appeared to be such a good deal that I suspect I may have regretted it later if I hadn't pulled the trigger. I didn't need another laptop, and this is so far ahead of my little media server PC, I think I might get some good use out of it. And that's about all you can ask for, right? Well, wish me luck, I guess. Check out some links below for uh, good sources for used and refurbished Macs.